Hi everyone, this is my New York City haul video. This is a little, like, a little long time coming because um, we were there a couple weeks ago and I wanted to do the video right after New York, but my daughter got sick, so we had to take her to the doctor right away. Then my sister who lives with us got sick, and then my husband got sick. So, and I got, I got a little sick. I got 10%, thank goodness, of what they had. But, um, so now we're just over it, and we are finally moving on with life, and I'm moving on with some fun, um, videos, including the New York City Hall. So I'm going to start via store. I have some stores that are, I think, New York exclusive, or big city center exclusive. Um, and then I have, so I'm going to do things by store, and then I'm going to do accessories after, I think. If I remember, we'll just see how this goes. It might be just, like, completely organic and wonderful. So I'm going to start with Cezanne, which is this beautiful um, Parisian store. It is, yeah, it's from Paris originally, and now they have um, one store in North America, and it is in New York and Soho. Someone else called it Nolita. Um, I'm not really 100% familiar with the correct names of every city, um, city area in New York, but that's where it is. Um, so this uh, is a beautiful thick lace blouse, and you can tell that it is a little bit transparent, but when I tried it on, I just had a bra underneath, and I didn't feel exposed. I think you can get away with just wearing a bra underneath, um, maybe not a black one, but you know what? Do You do you. Um, but this comes in red and black, and I believe it just came out in this beautiful dark green, because that's one of the colors of the season. And I originally wanted it in red because this is white, and I have kids, and that's a recipe for disaster, but... Um, I think this will be a, more of a special occasion, date night, holiday outfit type of, um, of blouse. And you'll see I'm doing cutaways to uh, show you how um, it looks on. Okay. This next item is from, I could do a whole video on this, and this is from a company called Veta Capsule. And they do, cause they come out with ca uh, capsule collections. So they, I think their capsule collections are about five items each, and then they show you how to wear these five items for like 30 days. So they just very minimal, very chic, very um, well made. Like this is made from organic cotton and it is just, I just absolutely love it. It looks very basic. I'll show you what this looks like on. But what they do is they show you how to wear it with each of their pieces. So this is, has a neck, has a collar, which you can take off. Um, I pr like my favorite way is to wear it just like, like this without the collar. The collar is actually beautiful, it's huge. And they have one way of wearing it with just the collar, like um, like a scarf, which I'm not a big fan of, but this actually looks really good on my toddler. <laughs> so she looks really good in just the hood, but uh, just the neck, the collar. But um, anyway, I'll sh it attaches via button. And I thought I would be really annoyed by that, but I can't feel it at all. So I absolutely love that. And then you can wear it, so you can wear it this way with the collar reverse without the collar and look at this gorgeous buttons and these functions so you can open them up you can wear it as an open cardigan um, and then they style it with the rest of their items have this gorgeous shirt dress that um, zips to just be a shirt and like I know that sounds like like cargo pant oh my goodness like why would you do that but it's stunning you guys have to check it out I'll link everything below because um, like I just want the whole capsule and there's a code to get the capsule the whole entire thing entire collection of these five items for um, a discounted price so you have to check it out because this also comes in black their stuff is very minimal it's like there's gray black white are basically their the colors that they use they have some denim I think I've seen some beige or tan on there but it's it's just about um, having versatile pieces and then so they pair this with um, a collar collared shirt dress and so the collar pokes out underneath and there's just like there's so many ways to wear it and I absolutely love it um, yeah, and it's made out of organic cotton. It's made, I think that's made in New York, so it's made in North America, and it is just a really cool piece. And yeah, I could talk for days about it. The next piece is from Madewell, and this is the first time I've been there. I wanted to get some jeans there because I hear that Madewell jeans are just like the best, but I'm still losing weight from my running challenge, and I just wanted to wait um, to purchase something, like $100 pairs of jeans. like. So, but what I got there is I really love message cheese right now, and this is au revoir, which is goodbye in French, and this is just a really nice basic tea. Um, I like, I dress very casually because I have children, um, so this is just something really easy every day. Um, the stitching is really nice, the quality of the t-shirt is really nice, and it's just cute. 
End of story. Cute, cute. The street style is super inspiring in New York. It was a lot of fun to just go and people watch and people are just super creative and you know, they follow trends, but I found while I was there, you just saw a lot of people um, just doing their own thing. And I think that's really cool as a fashion blogger, as someone who likes art and design, it's really cool to see people just following the beat of their own drum um, and it has just like a really cool energy of the city. Um, with that, I saw a girl wearing pants exact, like pretty similar to this with the check pant, which is a trend, the checker trend, um, but she wore it with a sweater. So I basically copied this girl's outfit. I didn't talk to her. I didn't know where um, she had gotten her items from, but these are a high-waisted pair of checkered pants, and I know they look, <laughs> looking at them right now on the screen, they look like your grandpa's pants, <laughs> but they're so nice. I'll show you in a, cut in a cutaway, and I have worn them a million different ways. I actually just did a vlog where I wore these all day and I had a TV thing that I did in the morning so I looked a little bit more professional and then in the afternoon I changed it to wearing with a t-shirt um, because I was just with my kids all day and it was really warm out and then in the evening I show a date night look. I didn't end up wearing this because it was so warm and I wanted to wear something summery for like the last time but this is just incredibly versatile and I was really happy to find a pair and then yeah they're more of like a peg leg or they just taper in at the bottom and super flattering. You'll see that I paired it in the cutaway with this sweater. Um, I absolutely love this sweater. This is from Mango and it is just a simple crew neck sweater but the sleeve has a little ruffle and it is just really cute and simple and easy. The store there only had this color that I saw. Um, but they have a million colors online, online and I will uh, send a link to you guys below for um, that because I really like, I just, I would wear this in every color. It's super comfy, very flattering, you can wear it with anything and I really like basics but I like basics that have just a little something extra to them and I, this sleeve does that. So I think this is just a classic, classic piece and I'm really, really happy with it and I want it in every single color. We went to Marshall's when we were in Brooklyn. We like walked the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge. So while we were there, we, yeah, we, we found Marshall's and I was like, okay, let's just go and check it out. You know, um, Marshall's is like, as you know, hit and miss and you have to really dedicate yourself to finding those hidden gems. And I found so many, I was so excited, including shoes. And I haven't, I haven't bought in shoes for a long time. Like, um, if you've been following me, I have like, I keep buying these like bags, like I'm in a bag phase. I find sometimes you just go into accessory phases and that's just, uh, I don't know what you're attracted to. So I'll start with the tops cause they're just like easy, easy mom tops. And of course I got a striped one. So this is just an easy, this is like $15 and this is like stretchy, comfy, um, basic, but like with a little, like I said, I like basic things, but I like a little bit of extra, um, design detail to them so this goes with anything and it's I just wear this every day and absolutely love it it's by a brand called ginger G I've never heard of that but I absolutely love this one and then and then I got this sweater which is stars like I'm obsessed with stars I think everyone's obsessed with stars right now because they're everywhere and they're just so pretty and magical and this is a wild fox sweater that I think I got for $40 American and their sweaters usually range um, over $100 and wild fox is just like really cool like expensive casual wear and yeah I just I think this is just really nice again another everyday sweater and I couldn't believe that I got it for such a great deal my favorite pieces that I got from Marshalls are the shoes. So, okay. I know. <laughs> These are so much fun. I just like, I just love them so much. Um, I've always wanted a pair of like puffy shoes. I think they're really good. I think they're really great for the holidays. A lot of what I got was like, I'm thinking of the holidays. I'm thinking some of like fun things that are like a little bit extra, extra like pizzazz, whimsy. I like whimsy. I've been into whimsy ever since having children. So I think I think they bring that out in me. But even if you just like whimsy, these shoes, they're Kenneth Cole, New York, and they were uh, $30. And I just like, I think they're so much fun. They're flat and they just have this nice puff. Um, I have a, I think Kate Spade comes out, like at least last year she came out with some that were like pink and glittery and just like all out. So 
check that out if you um, maybe I can find a link to that and I'll give you guys that but I just love these because they're fun and whimsical but they're not like crazy they, they'll like actually go with anything I think I'll pair them with the um, checkered pants and the beige sweater so like it just adds like it takes a little bit of seriousness away from that outfit and just again whimsy these are so cute Another pair of shoes that I got were these beautiful brogues. And so this is from a brand called 14th and Union. Actually, this is not from Marshall. This is from Nordstrom Rack. But I needed something for like every day. And I had some similar ones that were from Zara. And they had like a really thick outsole. Um, but this is just a nice everyday shoe. I love the color. I love that they're leather. I love the slight almond point. Um, almond shape the point to the shoes. I don't like anything too rounded because I'm short and I don't need something that kind of just makes me look more clunky. So these are just very flattering, very nice. Like I wear them all the time and great quality from a brand called 14th and Union. And my last um, items that I got from uh, Marshalls are these over the knee boots. Um, I tried to get on the over the knee, like the over the knee trend has been for a while. Um, the most popular ones that you'll find are the Stuart Weitzman, Lowland, Highland, those are the style names, um, and they are around a thousand dollars, but they're like the best and you'll like, you can like Google it and find so many videos about people reviewing them and they absolutely love them. So I like them too, um, but it's just not something that I wear every day and honestly like practically physically putting them on is just um, is a little bit of work and I think when you're trying to get out the door with two kids it's just nothing that you really like use a lot and then I'm like I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on something that I am going to not use all the time so I found these these are Mark Fisher and Mark Fisher is a great brand I actually wanted I have a pair of boots here that I was gonna get in Mark Fisher because they've been haunting me for like two years and I just haven't made the uh, commitment but um, yeah, these are Mark Fisher. I think they're called Odelia. I'll link below. But I found these at Marshalls for $60 American. And you know, normally they're $129, 130 um, on their site. And they have this gorgeous tassel. I couldn't find this color on their site, so I guess that's why they were at Marshalls. Because it's blue. And maybe blue. Blue is kind of challenging, especially for me, um, to purchase. Like, to style. Because I wear mostly, like, black. Um, but I actually... I was in the store and I was wearing these and I was like, I love these so much. I want over the knee boots and they were staying up and that was the biggest challenge because I bought some from Zara at the beginning of the season and I was like, okay, I want, like, and they were like the faux leather and I wanted something that was durable because I can't, again, the Stuart Weitzman ones are suede and in Canada with kids, like in winter, there's salt, there's snow, it's not practical for suede. I just don't have suede shoes at all. These are fabric. So uh, hopefully they won't ruin, but like, I just like, it's not gonna be devastating if these get a little stain on them versus like a thousand dollar pair. So I tried on the, the full leather ones at Zara and I like them, but they were just kind of, they didn't stay up and my husband was kind of like so thrown. Like if you talk about a man repelling style, which I think is funny, like he didn't like them and I think people generally think they're more of a sexy boot because they're over the knee. But he was just like not into it and so I was like okay well that's kind of discouraging because I'm gonna wear what I want but if I'm unsure about it and then you're unsure about it then it's it's a no-go so anyway I got these and I was like you know what he he's just gonna have to put up with it and he actually likes them he doesn't think they're sexy which is really funny um, <laughs> but I absolutely love them and I've worn them I think I'm gonna st I'm gonna style them with a little dress that I got from Aerie but I've worn them a couple times and I thought, while I was in the store, I thought of um, like three outfits I could wear them with. And I was just walking around thinking about it and I was like, I'm going to get it. I know they're blue. I know they're over the knee. Let's do it. So this was a big purchase for me. Big deal. Love them. They're great. Love Mark Fisher. I love the tassel on the back because they're tie up at the back too, which helps them stay up. So absolutely stunning. And while I'm on the shoe train, I will go on to show you my um, new loves. This video is going to be so long. Sorry, I'm like, I'm not even, I think I'm halfway through. But I just have so many great things to show you. Um, these are from a brand called Everlane. And these are the Boss Boot, which is lots of fun because that's my last name. 
And these are, everyone has been into the Acne Jensen Pointy Boot, and they're around 700, I think, US. And they're leather, and they're just stunning, and they have these, like, there's like a Chelsea boot with um, a slight heel, just like this, and they're pointy, just like this, so they're super flattering, but they have, like, uh, an elastic gore on each side, so they just pull on. So the Mark Fisher ones that I really liked um, were basically that. I had some from Urban Outfitters last year. Um, I think they still sell it. I think it's called the Pola Boot, and that's around $100. So I tested out the style, loved it, thought it was flattering, but the Urban Outfitters ones, they just deteriorated. Again, I'm in a cold climate with salt, so the salt ruins. The salt, um, if you're not familiar, um, helps melt the snow so you can actually walk and not slip and hurt yourself. Um, but it also just like ruins everything that it touches. So you have to like be really careful. So the quality of the Urban Outfitter boot wasn't like obviously not to where acne would be. Um, so I wanted the acne, the Mark Fisher, but it's just like the holiday season got caught up with me and I was like, I don't have any room on my budget. So I'm just gonna do the Urban Outfitter ones and that's it. And the Everlane came out with these ones. And what I love so much is the zipper on the inside. And a lot of people are concerned that I've read are concerned with elastic stretching out on some of these boots. So this isn't a problem if that is one of your concerns. And this is beautiful. This comes in suede. This comes in a bunch of other colors and it is from a store called Everlane which is in New York. I think they have two spots. They have two storefronts. You can find them online but they have one in New York and one somewhere else. I'm not, I don't remember. But it, it's actually really cool. So you would go by this, like Wes and I looked it up where the store was and it's not it, it's not like a typical um ground floor storefront that you just walk into and browse like it's it's like um they call it a what's it called they call it a studio i forget i forget the word for it but what you had to do is you had to go into a like almost like an apartment building and then go up to the top floor which is the fifth floor and then you just walked into this gorgeous retail space so it was really cool. It felt kind of exclusive and special because of that. Like anyone can go in. It just wasn't like a typical storefront. So it was really fun. Like I had the best experience, the best service there. And what you do normally is you try on something and uh, they order it and send it to you within like it comes to the store, it comes to you in two days. Because I'm um, not from there, um, I was concerned about that and I talked to them about it and they had these to go. So. Go there, check it out. Like it was a really, really fun experience. It seems intimidating because it's not a typical storefront, but like it's great service, great items, very good basics. If you've heard of Everlane, um, yeah, it just has a really wonderful reputation and about being uh, transparent. They tell you where their factories are. They, yeah, everything is just wonderful. Please go there. I love it. We were in Target just the other day. This is just like a really quick, I think this is cute, so I'm going to show it to you, um, little item. So this is a little velvet purse from Target. If you can hear my kids, I tell this, tell you guys this every video, but they're being well taken care of. They're having a lot of fun with their auntie right now. That's, that's where they are. They're not locked in a room somewhere. Um, I found this really gorgeous, um, purse from Target, and there's like, if there's an it bag, the Gucci... I forget what it's called. My brain isn't working today. But there's a Gucci one and it is velvet and it has a gold strap and I just think it looks like jewelry. So I love that one. It's been haunting me. Maybe someday down the road I will get it. But in the meantime, this will do just fine for me to test out the style to see if I really like it. And yeah, really cute, really cute little, little, little purse. It's like small. So it's like a date night thing and it's just very sweet from Target. And this is another fun one. I will, if you know me, well, I will shop anywhere. I love shopping. I will go secondhand shopping. I will do antique shopping. I will go to luxury stores. I will do the hunting through Marshalls. I will do it all. And um, I got these on the streets of New York. So we were, we were in, I um, forget where we were, we're in Chinatown somewhere. And I just found these really cute berets that are super in this season and my husband and I um, just picked out a couple colors we're gonna see if I can show you how cute this is I just got my like just got bangs cut so I haven't actually tried this on with bangs yet but yeah I just think it's so cute it's like a warm 
warm, not too warm hat, but like still like stylish and sweet. And I got it in gray and in white and I got them for, their, he was selling them for $10 each and I got two for 15 because it's really fun to, I like to haggle too. We, we also go to garage sales. So again, I shop anywhere, super fun. And these were being sold at Urban Outfitters. We went after for like 20, $30. So I feel pretty good about my deal. <laughs> And then, this is really funny, I was schooled by my husband on this new retail store called Muji. So we were in Soho and they had a pop-up. I think that they are going to do a permanent retail space there. But it is called, it is like a Japanese um, retail store and it is, it has like the best basics. I, they, I think they're mostly known for their home stuff, but they also have some really great um, basic clothing. So the pop-up I found, actually I'll show you this first. The pop-up I found this sweater dress and I absolutely loved it, but it was just a little bit too big. It was a size small. I think I got this in an extra small. Yeah. And I loved it, and um, but I just didn't walk away with it just because of the size, but I just love the style. And so we went to Fifth Avenue, like I told you, and they had a retail front there. So Muji, M-U-J-I. Um, so I found this and it was actually on sale at the time because it was like two days later and of course that happens But I was like score I got this and it's like a really nice long sweater dress with slits on the side. I'll show you what that looks like on And then I got this really just nice basic flannel shirt and this looks like Like what my husband would wear so it's really funny. <laughs> I showed this to my sister when I got home She's like that's Wes's shirt. I'm like no, this is my shirt. So one day we are going to wear it and be twins and hopefully it will be adorable but yeah just easy again um i stay at home with my kids and i just need like easy nice uh good quality shirts another fun day that we had um so my husband and i don't we don't really like to plan things um i'm bad at planning and he doesn't like to plan he doesn't like to be boxed in he says so we picked a couple of things that we wanted to do, like uh, typical touristy things, like go to Times Square, um, look at the bridges, and uh, go to a musical. Um, but otherwise, we're like, okay, like let's just be open, let's let's tour, let's just walk around and and discover things. And that can be a disaster, but it can also be really fun. And one thing that we bumped into on Sunday, um, after we walked the uh, Manhattan Bridge was the Brooklyn Flea. So we went to Brooklyn and only on Sundays they have the Brooklyn Flea Market and that was super fun to discover. Like I actually had a blast and I found this dress um, and it is this beautiful apron style wrap dress. So it wraps on the back and I was so confused because I've never seen anything like that before. And we thought this was an apron at first, but then I like I looked at it and it just wraps all the way around. So I was kind of confused on what it was. And it's a jumper dress. And so I walked away with it and I think it's just a beautiful, unique piece. I think the colors are stunning for the fall and for the holidays. And they'll actually go really well with my um, blue boots that I just showed you. And we also went to Uniglo. You can find Uniglo um, in Toronto and I think a lot of major centers. So, um, there, Wes and I are kind of funny with shopping. We're like, oh, well, like we have access to that in Toronto, but like we don't go to Toronto. So like as often as like we would want to. My husband used to like teach there um, a couple times, but um, so we're like, let's just go in and shop because this is our opportunity and it's lots of fun. We love Uniglo. We packed full like two bags of items to try on. They have like just really good basics. You should just go check them out. And um, there's a couple trends, trendy items that I wanted and I was like, okay, this is affordable. This is great, cute. They had like a lot of great options. So the first thing, this isn't really a trend, I don't think, um, but sweater dresses. This is just something that is seasonal um, and this is long. So what I really liked about a lot of the sweater dresses that I found um, at Uniqlo and just like around is that they were more of a midi length and as a mom, um, I just like that length. Like I'm not, like I'm just chasing after my kids. I need something a little bit longer and then when I sit down, I don't wanna like try too hard to be a lady. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I just wanna sit down and be comfortable and I just wanna wear like a big sweater and this is, this works. <laughs> I love it that what I really love about this is the sleeve so this sleeve balloons in and out I think that's a very feminine 
um, detail. I love the v-neck. You can wear like um, probably like a really nice uh, collared shirt underneath. It's just the versatility is um, is there and it's great. I think this came in, this came in a couple other colors. Again, I will link to what there is below. Um, otherwise, I'll find you guys some similar similar stuff. Next thing is my teddy bear coat. So shearling coats are pretty in the season. Um, they're lots of fun. I don't know how um, popular they're gonna remain for like next season. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something that I wouldn't necessarily love. I did. Lo I did have a coat that I called a teddy bear coat. It was like a bit darker than this a while ago. And that, yeah, when I tried it on, my husband said that I look like a teddy bear. So it's come back. And what I really love about this one is the length. Um, I like wearing this because it is so, like this is an extra small and you'll see on me that it is like, cause it has so much to it. Like it's like, it's like a faux fur coat. Like it just, it, um, it's not small. So I think what's nice, um, a nice way to style it is to style it with things that are small. So like tighter jeans, like form fitting jeans, a form fitting top. And then you kind of let this be the blanket that you walk around in. And I think it would be really sexy with, um, for date night, um, with just like a nice, yeah, tank top, nice cute going out top. And this is also like a cool going out piece. So absolutely love this. I feel like I'm walking around in a blanket is the most comfortable thing ever. And it goes with everything because it is uh, beige. So absolutely love it. Love the, the zipper. And it just like love the clean lines. It has pockets. Yay. Um, and it's just really fun and really cozy. The next item I have from Uniqlo also hits just like trends that have been the past couple seasons, but I just haven't been on board with yet because I haven't just found one that I love for a price that I like. So this is a bomber jacket. So again, my husband has this, so we are twins, but it's really great. They had a really beautiful wool version of this at Uniqlo and I actually returned it, exchanged it for this guy because the wool, when you have it on your skin, made me like break out in a rash. So I don't like, that was very strange. Um, wool doesn't normally do that to me, so I'm not sure about that guy, so be cautious of that item. So this is just, yeah, a short bomber. It goes with everything. It's really, yeah, it's really versatile. I've worn this a million times already um, since I've gotten it, and I think it came in black and a couple other colors, and yeah, easy piece. Really nice for just running out. I like wearing short coats when I'm driving a lot because I'm not constantly sitting on something long and pulling it and adjusting it. So this is just like a really good like car coat and they throw like a scarf over it and easy, easy everyday piece. Last item, well I'm gonna, like I'll talk about these guys too, but I uh, got this Zara coat that everyone has. This is haunted me again. And then again, this is actually an acne inspired piece. Um, it's just this, they call it an oversized biker jacket, I think. Um, I'll link to this below and similar items. Um, this is from Zara and they have it in a million colors. Um, they had it in black last year and it haunted me. It's another piece that haunted me. Um, and I saw a couple bloggers with it and I was like, shoot, I should have gotten that. I should have left room in my um, budget for it. But this, it came back again. So I'm like, yay, I'm glad when things are successful, they bring them back again. And I got it and I, um, I actually got this for free kind of because what happened was is when I went to New York um it was freezing and my luggage wasn't there so I my luggage was delayed six hours and through my credit card insurance um you can claim up to five hundred dollars of like ne necessary items so I had to go get some items for um my time like washing my face brushing my teeth etc um a couple of makeup pieces I got this coat and then I got, I think it was the coat I claimed. I forget it was a coat or my shoes I claimed because I was freezing and I needed to get something else. But yeah, that was great. If that happens to you, if you guys are delayed, check your credit card insurance because we've gotten meals from silly delays and now I got a couple of super cool clothing items that I love. So I absolutely love this. Yeah, it comes in a bunch of different colors and it is, again, so cozy. Like my theme right now is just, I want to be comfortable but still look um like like i just wanted to have an everyday look um and i found some like actually i have some orders from airy coming in i found like the best sweatshirt that actually makes me feel like a girl wearing it i just 
I like to be comfortable and all of these items that I've gotten are super comfortable and I think they're also very flattering too. And I think that's sometimes a hard thing. I think a lot of people don't think things can be comfortable and flattering. Um, but everything I've gotten is comfortable and flattering. Like that's just how I have to be with like kids. I have to chase them around. Everything has to be practical. And this is one of those items that just keeps me warm. It's fully lined. Um, and it's just cozy and like luscious. I absolutely love it. And finally, I'll talk about this item, this like outfit. So I went to Oakenfort. Oakenfort is one of my newest favorite um, stores. They have it in New York. Um, it's actually a Canadian store, um, but now they just have it in a couple places in the States, I think. And I found this gorgeous jumpsuit. So I have to actually have this. This is an extra small and I, I'm usually around a size two or a size four. So um, if you're smaller than that, I'm not sure if this would fit you, but I have to get this adjusted this way. This is always like a short spot for me. Um, so I have to go get this adjusted, but she, the, my, the salesperson brought me this jumpsuit and this really gorgeous, um, mesh, uh, shirt. And I absolutely love this. This also comes in black. This comes in so many colors and they're like, did you see the other colors? I'm like, yes, but oh, I have to wait. I just want everything, everything that I have, I want in every other color because I'm just so happy with this haul. So anyway, this is just a really comfy, really pretty, um, shirt. I'll show you kind of way of what the whole outfit looks like. The the, it's a jumpsuit, so I've always wanted a black jumpsuit or a black um, jumper dress like this that has this kind of apron top, and you'll see on the back that it um, has the same thing. And I just think it's really flattering, and it has culottes on the bottom, and I think you can dress this up, dress this down. Um, an everyday mom look would be this with like a striped top. For me, this is kind of a more of a date night because it's sheer, and you can see my myself um so I don't really wear this around like to like um play dates <laughs> anyway okay this video is super long that's long enough and I hope you enjoyed my items I hope you enjoyed seeing everything on I absolutely love everything and I will have links to them all below um please comment with items that you like or any questions that you have um I'd love to hear from you guys and um, please give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I do fashion videos, I do vlogs, and I do like some kid haul stuff. So lots of fun things. Have a good day.